Welcome viewers, Zach here and welcome to the 2024 update for Formula Apex. Here we are in content update 10 and the first thing we got to do is take a look at the new cars at the dealership. Let's go. So of course we have the now 2024 cars, the 2023 cars have been removed from the dealership, you can no longer buy 2023 cars, you had your chance, it's now gone. Anyways, without the way, let's take a look at the new cars, as you can see we've got a bunch of cars to choose from. So uh, obviously I've chosen the Red Bull, obviously the Red Bull is the fastest and I really like it, it's got that little design over here on the side just like in real life, the RB20 is kind of crazy though i've already uh, fully upgraded this car so i will give that a little test i've also bought one of the slowest cars this is the green king stonks car as, as you can see look it doesn't have that thing that red bull has it's really nice to see some difference between each cars of course, there's many other teams that you can choose from. For example, the Visa Cash App RB or the Money Bags car and every other car you've got over here. I think they're in order of price, I believe, because you can see 11.5 and then it gets cheaper and cheaper. So that's something to take notice because I think usually they put it in order of how fast the car is. So that's those cars out of the way let's go and take a look at the obvious new car the formula b cars so these cars actually cost robux 150 robux to buy pretty cheap cheaper than i was expecting but you know what a deal's a deal that's a pretty good price now with that out of the way let's go to the track all right so here we are in Hockenheim, my track of choice. As you can see, we've already got a lot of players spawning on track with the new cars. So let's go, but before we go into drive, if we go to helmet select, normally there should be some brand new helmets. But unfortunately, I don't think they've been added yet at the making of this video. They'll probably be added a little later. So obviously, I'm going to go ahead and set my preferred camera angles. So the only thing that remains now is to hit drive. So the first car I'd like to take a look at is obviously the 2024 car. So I can see if you click on this car over here, you can see that the design is very much different to the 2023 cars. And you can see all the cars that you own will be displayed over here, obviously, I have splurred a bit of cash and bought some of the cars I like. For example, the beautiful, beautiful Porsche car. Honestly, it's a must have 11 million, very much worth it. But obviously, the first car I want to try is the slowest car I have. I mean, yes, these other ones are slower, but I, for the memes, I want to drive the Kick Stonks car. As soon as we spawn in, as you can see, some things have changed. The tire compound select have been given a bit of a design change. So you can see you've got soft, medium, and hard, obviously. And it says here, fastest and most durable. So they've made it a little bit more beginner friendly. So you kind of know what, like, beginners have a better idea of what these tires means. Obviously, I'm going to stick with the softs. Anyways, as you can see, uh, well, first of all, a few things to notice is that the UI on the corner screen actually looks cool. It, it's better, it's more compact, and I think has a much better design, a much cleaner design. Always nice to see the evolution carrying on. And obviously, another thing you're gonna notice is how great this car looks. Obviously, let's go out of the garage and let's go and take a better look at this brand new machine. All right, so here we are. This is a bit of an outside look on the car. And it looks pretty great. It kind of looks like the, obviously, uh, the the pixels, like, the, it looks like the liv livery resolution is much higher than it was previously, and it kind of makes the car look uh, a lot better. You'll also notice that the tires look better as well. It has, like, a brand new design. It's almost like their new tires. Obviously, uh, just to show you, here's a picture of how the old tires look like, and uh, let's go back into our t-cam and you can see you got a better look on the inside rims over here and it looks very nice i've got to say much better design than we had before now obviously here we are in the car and we've got a bit i think i don't know if this was there before we've got a bit of green there uh, on our outfit which looks uh, pretty good and now let's go and drive out out of the pit lane just to get a little bit of a feel of how the car drives like 
right so here we are out i'm gonna kind of like commentate what i'm feeling as i am driving and uh, as you can see pretty good decent speed ers works perfectly as intended and uh i mean it doesn't feel too different from the 2023 cars but feels all right it's a great drive and honestly animations looks really really good and obviously as you can if we press number one on the keyboard you can see the new tire wear display and it looks very very nice you can see where damage can happen here and there so as you can see over here i have the red bull rb20 fully upgraded so we've got the maximum speed available for the 2023 2023 cars and i kind of want to test this so i'm going to go for a hot lap and then i'll let you guys know how it felt all right so uh for some reason that lap was invalidated however it was like a 103.5, I would say, which is actually a very good lap for this car bar. A very good lap. It's a it's a decent lap. But I'm I kind of think that these cars feel faster than uh the 2023 cars. Obviously, it's probably some small changes might have been made there, but like it felt in terms of like I would say speed is decent, it's close to the 2023, but handling I feel like I, I got a bit more of an edge, like more it, it's just if it, it just feels better uh obviously i'm using my controller it might be uh, different if you're using a mouse or something but it, it genuinely feels great so there's definitely some improvements they perhaps they've looked at 2023 and see how they can improve for 2024 but i'd say it's probably just some uh small minor changes but honestly in my opinion it's a great update now we're going to take a look at the formula b cars so as you can see we've got some different teams to choose from all of them look pretty good obviously i'm going to pick the hex formula b car and i'll show you why it's beautiful look at it it looks like the alpha male it looks really nice with the red and the black and obviously we have to go and give this a little bit of a shot so as you can see the tires uh they look well obviously i think they're smaller i'm not 100 sure but like it's definitely a different style like i think like maybe the tire width is uh, a little bit more but like it just, in terms of how it looks it looks pretty cool so just gonna take a little 360 here it is this is the 20 20 um, oh, it might be 2023 2024 i'm not sure but i think it's 2023 formula uh two, well inspired from the formula 2 car but obviously this is a formula b car so what makes these cars different they've got seven gears they're slower they've got no ers or drs as it is quite uh, obvious to see and i'd say they're pretty interesting to drive the thing is what makes these cars different is if you push the limits you can actually lose control of this car it's it's kind of it's kind of laughable but it's possible it's a bit hard to recreate it every time but there you go right there i kind of push the apex a little bit try to turn a bit too fast and that's when the car kind of start just sliding on its own it has a very interesting uh dry like kind of drive thing is this worth to buy uh, i would say 100 percent but well, for the reasons you may not think, I wouldn't say uh, this would be the best experience for racing against other Formula One people, uh, other uh, Formula One drivers on the track. But for leagues, I would say this is a great opportunity, as I understand, to that corner because people can have their own Formula Two divisions and race for like to try and get a Formula One spot in the same league. You get the you get the point. I've mentioned this many times in my videos. But yeah, I would say drivability of this car is pretty interesting. It's one. I'd like to probably practice and learn to perfect, but it's definitely a very interesting car. Highly recommend. 150 Robux is a pretty good price for this car, I will have to admit. Right, and that's about it for the main things about this update. There's also been some major changes like the handling of the 2016 car and the owl car gaining more speed, the 90s car gaining some new liveries and even uh, getting more grip and being easier to drive and a few more uh, little details. Obviously, the changelog has not been released yet, but when it does release, do make sure to join the Project Apex Discord server. Link will be in the description down below. So when they do release their changelog, you can know everything that there is to know. So yeah, that's about it for the update. It's kinda, it kinda sucks we didn't get a new track, but it's nice to have a new, well, obviously the new 2024 cars and most importantly, these Formula B cars, which can make, I suppose, things more interesting. 
And that is that for the update. If you have enjoyed the video, do make sure to like and subscribe. Consider becoming a YouTube member or sending a super thanks to support the channel. And thank you to Rootsal, Bees, Creeperman, and Mr. Dilos Fosaurus for being ultimate members. Goodbye.